philosophically, we believe that uh, people can work uh, and that they can do something in terms of getting ready for work, even if they can't work tomorrow. Grant Collins is FedCap's Senior Vice President for Workforce Development. Over the coming weeks, the company will begin opening 16 what Collins calls opportunity centers around Maine to help people transition from welfare to work. Let me put you on the spot a little bit sure. next year, one of your new clients. Uh, were right. states, are states doing a bad job at this right now? States are doing um, a, 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 a bad job at this right now, yes. DHHS Commissioner Mary Mayhew agrees. She characterizes this move to the private sector as an investment in the potential of people. We are not going to stand by and continue to accept that the fate of so many of these individuals is to languish on the welfare caseloads and that poverty is going to be their way of life and the way of life for their children. Mayhew says this contract is incentive-based to make sure Maine gets its money's worth. The contract also... Includes. Christine Hastead is with Maine Equal Justice Partners, an advocacy group for the poor. She says LePage administration policies have pushed thousands of people off the state welfare rolls, but tells us she's optimistic about this new public-to-private transition. And what we hope is that this change will sort of turn around the way in which these programs have operated over the last five years. Hastead hopes FedCap will be able to successfully deal with Mainers who have serious mental and physical barriers to employment. We want to see people who have those kinds of barriers get jobs, not lose benefits because they have run afoul of some arbitrary policy decision. Collins says his workers have yet to encounter a situation they can't work with. We have a pathway for them. So in, in our program, really, everyone can do something. And the idea is that we're going to engage them. So how does this shake up the state workforce? Commissioner Mayhew says many former Aspire program workers transitioned to other jobs within DHHS. FedCap hired 10, we're told fewer than a dozen left state government.